An electric-powered craze has hit the streets of U.S. cities. People rent and ride motorized scooters to and from work and school, or just for fun. When they are done, they leave them anywhere they want. Let's go. We're going to Meridian and San Carlos. Someone has to find the scooters, charge them, and return them to hot spots where customers can use them the next day. And that has given rise to a new job, scooter juicers. I'm a stay-at-home mom, and my boy's not used to me leaving. And so when they go off to bed, I can leave, go get my scooters, come back, charge them throughout the night. In the morning, get up once they're charged, have them all deployed, and then be back before they're awake. Shivali Sharma is a juicer. It's a new kind of piecework made possible by GPS and phone apps. Each night, this single mom leaves her twins with her parents and checks her phone app for Lime scooters scattered around the city, sending out GPS locator signals, all needing to be charged. She earns $6 per scooter, more if the scooter is harder to reach. This is us, there's one up the street from us. A Marine staff sergeant on medical leave, Sharma can get 29 scooters in her truck. The work can be tiring. Each scooter weighs 15 kilos. And then there's the competition. There's been many instances where I've been standing right next to a scooter just waiting for my app to kick in so I can collect the scooter. Somebody's come up from behind me, just taking it. <laughs> like, um, don't you see me standing here? But that's OK. <laughs> for the scooter companies, the juicers solve two problems finding the scooters and using their own electricity to charge them before putting them back on the streets. The competition among the juicers is part of the appeal, something Lime, the scooter company, didn't expect. The fact that juicers do compare it to a game like Pokemon Go, I think was a happy accident. So now that we've hit this um, uh, motivation, this you know game, gamification motivation among the juicers, uh, we have done things to uh, maybe amplify it or try to feed into, you know, folks' natural desire to um, play a game, I guess. As night progresses, Lime raises the dollar amount a juicer can get per scooter. And the company plans to create levels of juicers, like a video game. Sharma, who has harvested more than a thousand scooters, may be a super juicer. The money keeps me going. Also, it's fun. It is fun. It's a lot of work, but it is fun. The hunt is fun. This hunt also takes oh. stamina, but as the gig economy grows, people willing to hustle are finding new kinds of work. Michelle Quinn, VOA Technology News, San Jose, California.